Welcome to how to set you up your joystick tutorial for the free to play multiplayer online World War 2 combat flight sim air attack. The game can be found at www.airattack-central.com. In this tutorial I will be using the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, but this tutorial can be used for any joystick. Here are some images showing the intended button allocations. The first thing we must do is enter the website for the game. The address is www.airattack-central.com. Once here, we must select AA Launch. This will take us to the next menu screen where we need to select a pilot tag and an arena to fly in. It doesn't matter which one we choose first as long as we remember to choose both options. Once the pilot tag and arena details have been selected, we must select Join Arena. Now another window will open giving us three options, Open, Save or Cancel. Here we must choose Open. If you are using Vista, another window will open asking if you want to allow this program to open. Select Allow. The menu screen we will see now is where we get to set up our joystick. Don't worry, this is easier than it looks. First we select Options, Peripherals and Setup and New. Then we need to type in the name of the profile we wish to create. In this case I will type in Joystick Setup 1 and then I click OK. First I'm going to delete some options that are already in there. To do so, just left click in the right hand column under joystick setting on the option you wish to delete and tab and press delete, sorry just press delete. And Do this for the uh, functions that you wish to remove to clear them all down and then we can start reallocating the functions we want to the buttons we want on our joystick. Now to do this all we have to do is go back up to the top, select the function we want to choose and double click in the joystick setting column with your left mouse button and then press the button on the joystick you wish to allocate to it. I've just done flaps extended and flaps retract. I'm going to do brakes on and off and landing gears up and down. I will put the last two options brakes and landing gear on the same button it just means when I take off or land I have one button to press and the two functions will be carried out at the same time just choosing a few more options full view forward and padlock 3d cockpit view to enemy which I will double up with another button in a moment and select my map here we go now I'm going to select um, previous enemy and teammate for one button and next enemy teammate to another option now I'm going to double up on this one nearest enemy which will be padlock enemy which is button number three OK to say yes, I know it's already allocated, and I want two functions on there. And Padlock Nearest Teammate, always handy to know where your friends are in a fight. And of course, Fire Weapons, which is button one, the trigger. I'm going to choose. Oh, that's all done. Yep. Okay, scroll back up to the top. Once we're happy, we'll click peripherals and OK, and that's the joystick setup. 
and just press main menu and that's as far as we need to go for a second once we're happy with the setup as I said we click peripherals OK in main menu and then we can select fly and try our settings out to see if we're happy with them in this instance I've chosen a team arena so I'm going to click, click uh, on fly and the nation is British and then the plane is a Spitfire I'm just going to change my view to outside and move it around a little bit put my throttle up and my flaps to take off wait for the engine speed to build up and then I'm going to take my brake off and with a bit of rudder twist move forward onto the runway now the flaps are in takeoff I'm going to go to full throttle pick up some speed and when we lift off I'll raise the gear we'll still climb slightly gaining speed and altitude just put my flaps to up for level of flight I'm just doing a gentle banking turn here with a little bit of rudder twist keeping the nose above the horizon so we don't lose any altitude just checking on the location of the runway I'm going to turn parallel to it now Right. Have another look around from the outside. Now we're going to be landing shortly, but I want to make sure I turn after the end of the runway. If I turn before, I'm going to run out of runway. Probably end up turning over the top of it. So now we're well past it. I'm going to banking turn to the left. And my flaps are moving to the down position for landing. And we are. I'm going to reduce throttle and in a moment I'll drop my gears still reducing throttle and keeping my nose slightly down I'll line up with the runway shortly here we are and a gentle slide down reducing my throttle all the time and as I touch down the brakes are on and throttle all the way back to zero and we'll come to a gentle rolling stop and there we are I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helps you and uh, I shall see you again soon I will be posting more videos in due course so look out for them all the best and thank you very much for watching